Street, it's the NBA. We're glad to get spooky with you tonight. With Greg Anthony and Brett Berry, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll be hearing from David Aldridge on the sideline. DA, it's all yours. Thank you very much. Now the calls to shorten the NBA season continue. One NBA president has even suggested a 58-game schedule. And for the playoffs, one and done. He says there's a reason people tune into every football game. The college tournament in 63 games gets more TV money than we do in our entire regular season. The more drama, the more TV ratings, the more money. Kevin? What's not to like? Everything makes sense. Rest the players, more practice time, and all the things you just talked about. Maybe DA less is more. And thanks for the report. I'll look at the 76ers starting group. Front court is Thibel and Harris. Harden out there with Maxi, And it's Embiid in at the five down low. And for the Wizards, Hachimura and Porzingis, the post pair for them. Morris and Beal are the guards. And it's Avdia in at the three spot. And Greg, the Philadelphia 76ers have made it very clear that they are all in on a title run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top tier talent on this roster. After the trust the process here, they're now aggressively pursuing titles here in Philly. Morris against Harden and the pass to Beal. Now here is Hutchimer. Back to Beal. Inside and Bede with the steal. Fast break. Here they come. Here's Harris. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. The combination of size and speed of Tobias Harris. When he gets going, hold the stop. Deal with it. He takes it in. No good that time. Good D by Embiid. Bible on the wing. Harden against Morris. Harden gets the bucket. I mean, how many spots on the floor is Harden not effective from? Uh, I'll tell you, not many. Hachimura with a screen on Maxi. The old drives in. The shot, no good. Now the 76ers take it the other way. This their first look at this year's Washington squad. And, and even though they're one of the top teams, they drop the season series to this squad. So sometimes matchups play a role. Now here is Harris. And the 76ers tack on two more. Now this is a, a strength of Tobias Harris finding good rhythm now in the mid-range shot. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Harris against Hachimura. Morris looking over the floor. Just five to shoot. Washington needs to get a shot off here. The Wizards with another miss. Ooh, he missed an easy chance to put some points on the board. He won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. Harden gets to Harris. Here's Maxi. And that's out of bounds. It was last touch by Maxi. And let's now take a look at some of the numbers for Tyrese Maxi. So timeout called here. The first for Washington. No tricks, only treats here, Greg, is we've got NBA action on Halloween. Greg, I have seen you sport some very interesting costumes over the years. Yeah, the kids love it when I get dressed up and go trick-or-treating with them. And uh, then I, I get to go through their candy stash. So it's a win there.
some stats for Morris. How he performed last season. He was around 12 points a game, four assists, and three rebounds. And you love how he facilitates their offense. Just a terrific decision maker. So many times it's with the extra pass, and man, he's delivering. So for the Wizards, their last game, a loss to the Celtics in Boston. Yeah, on the road, you're already a little out of your element. Then the misses from the line become contagious. Well, it can affect your confidence, not just as the player shooting, but the entire team. So defenses might get a little bit more aggressive, and then you got to think about the next free throw. Now, here's Maxi. Not, uh, not too proud of his numbers in that game against the Bulls, that's right. And here is Morris. Has to be Trying to get something going. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. GA, he's asked to carry a big time scoring, but Bradley Beal makes his teammates better as well. And that's an area, Kevin, he has really grown. And his playmaking, when the defense overcommits, you make them pay with the pass. And the first one at the line is good. Always a shame to see a guy like Bradley Beal have to go in for season ending surgery like he did in 2022. Well, that decision, I, I think, was tough. But in the end, for the length and longevity of his career was the smart one for Bradley Beal. Get himself fully healthy, fully physically and mentally ready to get back on the NBA floor and be as productive as he's been throughout his career. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw. Rozingas with the steal. Here's the fast break. Beal leading the way. Hachimura, no good. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game. And Bede the screen. And here's Harden for three. Sinks the triple. Harden's got five points so far. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Morris passes to Beal. It's that one to fall after missing his first two. One for three from the field. And Peel finds a way to the bucket. How'd he do that? And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. Nice take. Staying aggressive with this game. Still very much up in the air. So Harden will bring it up for Philadelphia. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to Chicago. Yeah, what, what we saw in that game and what you see around the league is a questionable dependency on the triple. Well, you have to be able to use the three-point line in some way. It's just such a weapon. And in that game, it was just not there for them. Dallas, no good. Wizards trail by five. Avia kicks to Morris. it to Persingas. Very good from outside. 76ers have gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. Now, Thibel, he's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Harden, that's good. Well, for Tobias Harris to take this step, getting away from scoring and finding teammates to become a more adept passer, that's good signs. Now, here is Hetchumer. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against the Celtics in Boston. Beal gets a wide-open look. Gets hauled in by the 76ers. He loved to make them pay for giving up that wide-open jumper. Just unable to do so. Maxi passes to Thibault. Here's MB. The jump hook. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Beal, the pass to Morris. The Wizards working the ball around now. 14 feet away. Doesn't go for him. And Philadelphia the other way now. 
And that's a foul called on Porzingis. That's his first foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Here's Harris. Coming off a 10-point game, his last out here. Harden gets the bucket. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. And here is Beal. James Harden getting it to go from deep. Hachimura setting the pick for Beal. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Uh, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Embiid, no good. And yeah, they had some boxed coverage that turned into no cover. Morris outside. Beal against Maxi. Brzingis trying to get free. The shot by Beal, no good. This feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Now, here's Maxi. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Traps in the tray. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. Washington calls timeout as the teams head into this timeout a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade that's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game absolutely over the course of a game you have to stay hydrated Daniel Gafford's checked in for Przingis. Kisper comes in for Avdia. Will Barton, he's checked in for Bradley Beal. And it's right in for Morris. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Harrell, he's checked in for Embiid. P.J. Tucker comes in for Harris. George Niang, he's checked in for Matisse Thibel. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for Maxi. Pass to Barton. Murrow with a screen on Melton. Barton drives in. Takes it off the glass. Well, the defense opens up just for a quick second, and that's where Barton takes advantage. He jets into that gap and right towards the hoop. And the Wizards, one of these teams that's still in search of an identity. They've got a lot of skilled players, but it's really hard to say right now what this team is all about. Here's Niang. Six to shoot. The pass to Tucker. Here's Melton. Oh, good with the triple. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. A factor in Washington's lack of identity has to be, Brent, their frequent roster changes. Yeah, no doubt, Kevin. There's been a revolving door there, and the front office makes a lot of moves. They're just trying to capture something, trying to get their star player healthy trying to regroup and see if something clicks. Here's Harden after the basket by Will Barton. Here's Niang. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Hero. Rebound by Grisbrook. Grisbrook's trail by 10. He 
dishes it to right. Melton against Barton. Poked away. Barton outside. To the paint. Here's Melton. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. And the 76ers lead by 12. And Wright kicks to Barton. Wright says a screen for Barton. The kick out to Wright. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single digit lead. Will Barton always going full speed. That time finds a bullet pass to a teammate. Now here's Melton. Harrell with it, and Hachimura picks him up defensively. And the foul on Rui Hachimura. That is his first foul of the game. Jake Milton, he's jacked in for the 76ers. Steps back in fire. Offensive rebound, and he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Right, looking around. And it's Melton with the rebound. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. Pass to Milton. Shoots over Barton. A shot by Milton, no good. And so it's Hachimura who brings up the ball for the Washington Wizards. 11 point game. Now the dish to right. Pass to Gaffer. Nice ball movement by Washington. Six on the shot clock. Hachimura, no good. Philadelphia has gone four of eight on their three point attempts, doing a lot of work from way outside here in the first quarter. 22 left to play in the first. Here's Harrell. It's good. Tucker, great job reading the floor and finding a way to set up a ready shooter. Right outside. Shoots from the block. And that one is good. Wright's got five points so far. There's a solid opening quarter right here. Very active and creating a lot of good opportunities for himself. Melton the bastard the end. And here's Melton. From deep. Washington with the rebound. Hachimura's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Kicks to right. For this screen on Melton. Here's right. Misses the way. The 76ers leading by 11. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. against Gafford. Pass to Tucker. Harold down low. Now the pass to Niang. Here's Tucker. Good on the three-point shot. And the 76ers lead by 14. Yeah, they built up this lead three points at a time. Well, a lot of importance placed on outside shooting. And tonight you can see why after that exploding from the perimeter. You got to be in control when you go to the rack, and he was not. You can't just run guys over. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. 
began to look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the 76ers. Absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long-range shot here early on. Let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. Avdia out there with Daniel Gaffer. And there's Porzingis. Then there's Kispert. And it's Beal in at the one. That's the group on the floor right now for Washington. And on the offensive end, Harden can be such a monster. So far, he's had little trouble finding his shot. Now here's Beal. He's coming off a 28-point game against Boston. And it was never all about himself. He came away with a lot of assists in that game and just kind of kept everybody in the mix. Four on the clock. From past the arc. And Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Well, Greg, what can you say about Joel Embiid's growth from a leadership perspective? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Tremendous guy. Carrying the Sixers with everything they went through. Even though he came in second in MVP voting two years in a row, no player more important to his team than Joel Embiid. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Thank you, guys. Now, Tobias Harris has been the leading scorer on teams in the NBA, but on the Sixers, he understands his role is different. He says, I'm not a guy who's going to press for looks. The ball's going to flow how it flows, and I just got to be ready when the opportunity comes my way. That's what winning basketball is all about. Kevin? David, thank you. Wizards trail by 14. Avia dishes to be to Kispert. Jacks up a three. The shot comes out. And the 76ers go the other way with it. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Harden outside. This is it to Harris. Let's it go with a three. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got three assists now in this one. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. High post shot. And that one is good from Bradley Beal. Beal's got six. Well, Beal can really score just about anywhere. Don't be surprised when he knocks down shots from the mid-range. Pass to Harris. Over to the left wing. Porzingis against Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. And if you want to talk about a player who embodies the power game, then Embiid's your man. You know you're going to get some strong finishes anytime he's on the court. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. In, and Philadelphia also making a switch. Eibel's checked in. Here on 
the second quarter. We've played a little over two and a half minutes now. B.L. deciding where to go with it. And that will be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the five. Brent, how has size now affected the way the game is played? Well, if I could just take a detour, Kevin, I would tell you it's skill that has affected the way the game is played. I mean, this has always been a tall man's game, and usually it's been dominated by the biggest guys, uh, but that's not the case anymore. So you look at 6'4", the 6'7", guys who are skilled to shoot, pass, and dribble. That's what every team is looking for, and that's the way the modern NBA team, especially a championship-caliber team, is made. Hachimura has checked in for the Wizards. And both free throws good for Beal. Something that the Wizards struggled with last year, Brent, was a lack of consistency. Yeah, constantly shifting the rosters and starting lineups. Obviously a new coach, so tactically some different things being deployed. you got to find a dependable foundation and training camp in the early part of the season for this team. Really, really important. Wizards trail by 15. Morris passes to Beal. Persingas with a screen on Maxi. Down low. And the dunk by Persingas. All of that happening because Porzingis moved well off the screen to find the space. There's the pass to Harris. Shields over Hachimura. Harris, no good. You're not going to see that very often. He really has space, but he just went face and he whiffs on that. Pass to Persingas. And a miss there on the triple. The 76ers leading by 13. To the inside. Harden with the stop. Taking it all the way. Harden with the flush there. The Wizards have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter. Three of six. Passes to Hachimura. Back to Morris. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. That's not going to make you a favorite target of your teammates. They'll think twice about feeding you if you're going to keep missing layups. Harden the pass to MB. It's rebounded by Persingas. Persingas has got his fourth rebound in this one. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level. And his tonight has been high. And here we go. Harden heading to the hoop. And the jam by Harden. And when he's in the open court, Harden has one thing on his mind. The finish. Beal with a screen for Morris. Over Maxi. And that one's drained from the low block. Morris has got his first basket. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. And it's Monte Morris with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And Philadelphia making a change here. Elton's checked in. substitution. And B with a screen on Morris. No good. Wizards trail by 15. Morris outside. Porzingis kicks to Beal. Gets that one to drop. A rare make bumping him up to 3 for 10. And Beal, it's great to see him get in there as a guard and do some rebound. Pass to Harris. Embiid sets the pick for Harris. He's looking for Embiid and finds him. Taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Hachimura with a screen on Maxi. Here's Beal. Got that bucket. Beal's got 12 points in the game. Shots are just flowing for him right now. Having a really strong court. The pass to Embiid. Now, here's Thibault. Harris outside. Pass to Embiid. 
over Porzingis. Tries again. That one is good from Joel Embiid. He's got nine. Energy points from Embiid. Takes up lots of space at 7 feet 280 and just dominates the boards on both ends. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Fibo. Passes it to Maxi. In the corner, Terrace. Shot clock at six. Again, Philadelphia. They are just killing them on the interior. And so it's Morris with it. He'll bring it up for the Wizard. Trailing by 17. Beal the pass to Persingas. Good, it's Beal picking up the assist. Persingas has got four points this quarter. You've seen Bradley Beal elevate his playmaking ability over the years. It's nice work in the pick and roll. And B finds Thibel. 76ers moving the ball around. And beat inside. He's against Porzingis. And B, no good. And staying healthy for Porzingis has been a challenge over his career. Not uncommon for players standing well above seven feet. Now here is Morris. Now the feed to beat. And stolen by Thibel. Pass to Melton. Pass to Maxi. Here is outside. It's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. And in New York, even before his injuries, the front office voiced concerns about Porzingis' ability to stay healthy. Well, the, the track record for players seven two and up. Great. And today's game demands more movement from big men than ever before. Now, Maxi, following the Porzingis miss from deep, feeds to Embiid. It's all good, and that's his fifth basket of the game. He's shooting five for 11 now. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Morris passes to Abdiya. Morris with the screen for Abdiya. Here's Porzingis, and the dunk by Porzingis. And for Porzingis, gosh, the dunk looks so easy. Philadelphia leading by 17. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. Well, back in 2017, Denny played professionally in his home country, representing Israeli basketball. He was a stud. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Pazingas. Kisper comes in for Rui Hachimura. Will Barton, he's checked in for Beal. And it's DeLon right in for Monte Morris. And Philadelphia will go for a different look here. Harrell, he's checked in for Embiid. P.J. Tucker comes in for Tobias Harris. George Niang, he's checked in for Matisse Thibel. And it's Jake Milton in for Maxi. Milton with it. Pass to Tucker. Lock at six. 
Back to Milton. From deep three-point range, that one misses. And it's Washington the other way. Now, here's Avdia, defended by Milton. Wright finds Barton. To the left side wing. Here's Kispert, carries it from three-point range. Kispert's got his first three points of the game. Textbook assist there from Will Barton, moving the ball around. Sometimes you just get rewarded like he did there. Niang passes to Melton. This is to Harrell. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Harrell's got his second bucket. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes it back. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Melton kicks to Milton. Loads it up there for Harrell. Handles the alley of crew. Montez Harrell with a throwdown that gets his teammates up. Right down low. He's defended by Harrell. Launches a three. It's hauled in by the 76ers. 119 left to play here in the half. Milton passes to Milton. And here is Harrell. Passes it to Niang. And here's Tucker. Here's Harrell. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Put in some added toughness on the roster. Something really new they needed after last year's playoffs. The hope is adding scrappy veterans like P.J. Tucker and DeAnthony Melton will help them further this go-round. That's good from Harold. The compliment that Harold gets often is the fact that he's just so tireless a worker, and that energy is something that both coaching staffs and teammates appreciate. Cork Miles checked in for Philadelphia. And both free throws good for Harold. Wizards trail by 20. Right dishes to Avdia. against Gafford. Martin surveying the floor. And another miss by Washington. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Niang passes to Tucker. An easy two points on the layup. Tucker's got his second basket of the night. And they're forcing the ball inside and it's working like a charm. Right outside. Will it go? And the layup is up and in. Wright's got seven points in the game. Yeah, a, a tough start scoring the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around now. Now, here's Milton. He's covered closely. Pass to Harold. Shoots over Gafford. Bank shot. No good. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers closing out the quarter with a 20-point lead. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Joel, an early lead and a lot to like in the performance thus far. Would you agree? Oh, I thought we played great. Defensively, I know that I have someone behind me if I made a mistake that was going to protect the rim. I thought we did great. We know the adjustments are coming, and we'll see who takes advantage. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit.
Hello, everybody. Before getting into the first half recap, let's check in on the injured players around the NBA. Needless to say, losing Ben Simmons wasn't part of the plan. The rebounding, the ball handling, the passing, it's a big loss for him. Yeah, he's a unique player. Hard to replace what he gives him. And moving on to our current game, it was not the first half that fans were hoping to see for the Washington Wizards. They've been struggling to get shots in general, but down low, they've been paper soft. Hate to say it. Giving up way too many easy looks. If they can't protect the rim more effectively in the second half, it's going to be a long ride home. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. second half of our Halloween broadcast. A fantastic game from Harden in this one. Well, through the first two, he has been nothing short of a marksman from deep. Yeah, you would hope the defense at least would start to consider creeping up on him just a little bit. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Heading underway in the second half, here's the five for Jack Rivers. Harrison and Bede are manning the post position. Tyrese Maxey out there with Harden. And it's Bible in at the small forward. Count the basket. And the man just brings his lunch pail and goes to work. Well, what sets him beat apart is he does it with such ease. That shot wide open. He has got 15 points. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Now here is Harris. Here's Embiid. Gets that one through the hole. Make him now 7 of 13 in this game. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, Kevin. Wizards ownership has promised to never hit the hard reset button. We saw from teams in recent years like the Sixers. But the fact remains that this is a franchise that last enjoyed a 50-win season in 1979. So for the patient, diehard fans in the DMV, seems the wait for a true contender may take a lot longer. Kevin? Uh, well, time will tell, David. Thanks. Now, here is Harden. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 23 points. Shoots. Rebound, Washington. Abdiev got his fourth rebound in this one. Yeah, just the first miss of the half there. They have to be happy three of four to start it off. Hachimura with a screen on Maxi. Beal can't get it to go. Yeah, they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now. One of four to start the half. MB and MB throws it down. And while his ability to score gets so much attention, Harden demonstrating why he's also regarded as an elite level passer. Well, James Harden's still a tremendous player, but now in his early 30s, some question can he be the dominant NBA force we saw in Houston. Elite passes like that are so hard to defend. He never had to break his stride, so full speed, two points. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. And that's a foul called on Bradley Beal. That is his first foul of the game. Al Harden, he's got 19. Puts up a three. And Bead kicks to Maxi. Harden surveying the D. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And Greg Harden in recent years dealing with hamstring injury. Has he lost a step to age or injury? You know, probably a little of both, but we've seen players with a new diet or training regimen get back to peak production. Hopefully, he can as well. Shooting two.
first free throw is good. And the playmaking of Harden continues to impress. Whether he's looking for his shot or creating for others, such a dynamic talent. Both good from the line that time. You know, over the last couple of seasons, it, it feels like the Washington Wizards roster is in constant flux. I mean, from role players to all-stars, guys coming in and out. Washington calls timeout. These are the players who had the most success from deep last season. In the third spot, Tyrese Maxey. The bucket must have looked three feet wide to him last year. I mean, very deserving in terms of that spot among the league leaders from three. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Morris outside. He kicks it to Beal. Three pointer. A shot good on the assist by Morris. Beal's got 18 points in the game. Well, the defense better get out there, or Bradley Beal's about to do some serious damage. Here's Thibel. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And there's the pass to Maxi. Down to five on the shot clock. And Bede with a screen on Beal. Maxi, no good. Man, I thought he was making that in so close. That's some aggressive defense. The 76ers leading by 22 and the basket by Harden. Oh man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. Up top for Zingas. He dishes it to Abia. Back to Porzingis. Takes a three. Hachimura, no good. Philadelphia has gone one and two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. To the middle, here's MB. And the dunk by MB. That's the guy they're going to keep going to as they should. The lead's only going up if they keep feeding him. Washington's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Morris outside has to be up. With some art. And no good that time. Some solid defense from Harris. A three ball. And it's Bradley Beal with the rebound. The Wizards have gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. Hachimura, the screen. A 15-footer. Rebound by the 76ers. Maybe a time to rest him right now. Just give him a bit of a breather. Try to help him get back on track. 
Maxi passes to Harris. Maxi against Beal. Beal with the block. Oh, Beal able to get up and get a hand on him. Porzingis trying to get free. And that one's good. Beal. Beal's got eight points in the quarter. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. And so it's Harden bringing it up for Philadelphia. Out to the wing. Embiid inside the line. The 76ers again can't hit it. Now, here's Avdia. No points in the game yet for him. Beal with the screen for Morris. Just five on the clock. Porzingis with a screen on Hart. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack the confidence. Yeah, hard to stop it there if you're the big man. That's just too good a shot and great concentration. Looking at who's out there now for the Wizards. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Pazingas. Kisper comes in for Avdia. And Barton subbed in for Beal. And Philadelphia will go for a different look here. Harrell, he's checked in for Joel Embiid. P.J. Tucker comes in for Harris. Korkmaz checked in for Matisse Thibault. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for Maxi. Free throw good for Morris. Philadelphia leading by 22. Passes to Harden. Kicks it to Tucker. Pass to Harrell. And it's Monte Morris with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And now only one away Third. from being in the penalty. Right, he's checked in for Washington. Here's Tucker. He has five. The pass to Harden. Six to shoot. Here's Korkmaz. Over Kispert. Korkmaz, no good. Melton against Barton. It's right on the wing. Hachimura setting the pick for right. Gets himself open and drills it. Wright's got nine points. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside, getting good shots from close range. A hard-working veteran. Barton can do a little bit of everything for you. You know, it's been an interesting path for Will Barton, trying to find his way onto the floor, but he has not looked back the past couple of seasons. He's added some strength, a little more patience to his game. He's become a key piece with starter-level talent. Barton, again, the Wizards, good for two. And Will Barton looks comfortable there down on the inside with the shot. Melton feeling it out a bit. Philadelphia moving the ball over. A nice shot by Tucker. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Right, the pass to Barton. Shoots over Melton. Barton, no luck. Philadelphia leading by 23. Barton outside. Milton with the ball. Back to Harden. That three off the mark. Wizards have gotten half their shots to drop in the second half up to this point, going 7 of 14. Here's Gaffer. And Gaffer throws it down. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going to work on the rebounding, going to work on the board. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. And here are the 76ers now. Following the bucket by the Wizards. 
second person of that. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for the 76ers. They've been playing some really physical offense, just attacking the paint as much as possible. And I'll tell you what, they have been very successful with that strategy. Well, looking at the stat sheet, I could just see here tonight sharing the basketball. The stat that comes up most is assists. So sometimes you have to look for your teammate. That makes things happen. They've done it. So he hits one of two from the spot. Greg, you think of everything that goes into making it to the NBA as a player. Did it come easy for you, or was it all work? It's easy, really, to overlook the grind, but when you love the game, all those hours in the lab don't feel quite like work. At least not until you start getting a little longer in the two. Such a big part of what he does for this team is work and work on the boards, generate second chance opportunities, and hopefully convert. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. For Washington. Bring it up for Philadelphia. They have a 19-point lead. It's Harold, top of the key. To the inside. Here's Tucker. Lays it up off the glass. Tucker's got 10 points in the game. And the defense is trying to get to Tucker on the inside. Nobody's having an effect on him. Stripped it away. And stolen by Wright. Kispert dishes to right. Hachimura setting the pick for right. Right wing. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Strong finish by Hachimura on that play. In college at Gonzaga, Rui Hachimura was a finalist for the Player of the Year award. And not bad company that year, Kevin, alongside Zion Williamson and Ja Morant. Probably one of the most talented fields for that award we've seen in a long time. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. George Niang, he's checked in for Melton. And it's Jake Milton in for James Harden. Rui Hachimura is one of those guys who you're assured of as putting in the work in the offseason. His shot has gotten a little bit more accurate. And the confidence that he plays with continues to grow. Now, here's Milton. And the three off target. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. It's right on the wing. Hachimura setting the pick for right. Shoots over Tucker. He's on target from eight feet out. Wright's got four points this quarter. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. Milton the pass to Niang. Over Kispert. Niang, that's good. Niang's got his first bucket in this one. Wizards trail by 18. 112 left in the third quarter. And here is Hachimura. Back to right. Shot clock at five. Here's Barton. The shot from the low post is good. Barton's got eight. The reason Barton makes that play happen is because of the move. He really destroys the defense with his handle there. Pass to Milton. To the wing right side. Niang kicks to Milton. Fires from deep. A three-pointer is right on target. He's got his second bucket of the game to go. Not the biggest fan of that shot, but he had the space to get it off. So, so why not? We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. The shot's good from Gafford. 
That is all timing right there. Just led him perfectly. The 76ers leading by 17. And the rejection by Kaepernick. And really the smart thing would be to hold for the last shot. Every second right now is valuable to you. That should be their strategy. Out of bounds of the 76ers ball. I know people can't see you, but you're doing what I'm doing. Scratching your head to that turn. Glad we got the chance to see that remarkable rejection. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. Seven seconds left to play in the third. Here's Harrell. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. 76ers lead by 17. He'll be back shortly, live from Washington. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Wizards trail by 17. Daniel Gafford is out there with Kisper. And there's Bradley Beal. Then it's DeJuan Wright. And it's Brzingis in at the front. That's the group on the floor right now for Washington. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Tucker is three. Here's Harris inside. A nice shot by Tucker. And the 76ers lead by 17. Good positioning inside from P.J. Tucker and just going to work. Hey, yo, right here. Beal against Maxi. And Beal kicks to Persingas. A three-pointer, no good. And it's Maxi with the ball for Philadelphia. Here's Milton. That shot off the mark. Nice D from Porzingis. Now Kisper. There's the dish to Beal. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more for one. That's their third straight main off an assist. Third personal foul. First team foul. Jay Morris has checked in for DeLon Wright. Philadelphia also making some changes. Embiid, he's checked in for P.J. Tucker. And it's James Harden in for Shake Milton. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute play. Morris against Harden, and here's Harris from the arc. Rebounded by the Wizards. Pass to Morris. Outside, Brzingis. Hits it from three-point range. They've been terrific from beyond here in the second. The 76ers leading by 11. Maxi looking it over. Five over three. There's Embiid and a good offensive ball. And he gets the bucket. Embiid's got 21 in the game. Again, it's Joel Embiid. When he is on, there isn't one player in this league that can stop him. Morris, no good. Philadelphia's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And since Tobias Harris got his big contract with the Sixers, Greg, some say they chose him over Jimmy Butler. And while Tobias is nice, he's never been an all star. And that's one of the few downsides to a big payday. Some Super might two. say he's overpaid. Uh, I'm sure he'll take the trade off. And he makes the first. I feel like Tobias Harris's confidence 
has grown over the past couple seasons, especially on the offensive end. Very capable of taking advantage of smaller defenders. Wizards making a switch here. Ab Diaz checked in. He's off on the second. And they're drawing more muscles and working their way to the line here in the second half. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. As to Beal. Shot clock at six. Persinga sets the pitch for Beal. Offline with his three. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. Now, here's Maxi. Back to Harden. Over Morris. They get the rebound. Embiid. And the dunk by Embiid. And able to pad his stats a little bit there on that play. The board and the bucket. And you know, Greg, that'll put him in the good graces of that coaching <laughs> staff, too. My goodness. Harris against Beal. Here's Gafford, and it's off the back rim, no good. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that one. He handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. Now the pass to Beal. Over and Beal. The Wizards with another miss. The 76ers leading by 16. Harden outside, pass to Fiber. Embiid inside. He's covered by Beal. Good on the bucket. Embiid's got 14 points here in the second half. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Offensive rebound. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. I mean, he is just demoralizing his opponent right now on the backboard. They didn't want anything to do with him on that possession. Almost like they were just giving up on the play. Well, we saw this same kind of attack in the last game. Ferocious effort in back-to-back -back out. Wizards trail by 16. Now, here's Avdia. Morris outside. Passes it to Beal. The tray. The shot's good on the assist by Morris. Morris is going to assist tonight. Bradley Beal, one of the best scorers in the NBA. Maxi passes to Embiid. Dishes to Hart. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Harden's got 29. He's building off that strong first half he had. I'm not sure the defense will be able to figure him out in the second. Beal, the pass to get And Gafford throws it down. And Beal continues to be that guy where he opens your eyes with his playmate. And B with the screen on Morris. Harden gets to MB. Over Morris. And B, no good. It's Porzingis with the ball. He'll bring it up for Washington. They trail by 14. Here's Morris. Back to Beal. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Beal's got 18 points now here in the second half. Timeout called the 76ers. Philadelphia timeout.
present our New Balance Player of the Game, Joel Embiid. And his performance has been a jaw dropper. It must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight. Because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. And this is exactly what a star player is supposed to do. Coming off a loss, he made sure they weren't going to make it two in a row. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Well, during that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Doc Rivers said to his team. He's encouraged where they are at this point in the game, but he told his guys, things can turn in a blink. What we need to do is execute the rest of the way. So we'll see if they can finish this one off, Kevin. Thank you, David. Now, here's Maxie. Pass to Harris. He kicks to Embiid. Or he this with the block. And shooters must beware. Porzingis is down there lurking. Morris outside. Deal with it. Maxi covering. A three from Porzingis. Good with Peel picking up the assist. Porzingis has got a bad guy with single digits for Washington. And outside. The pass to Harris. Embiid with a screen on Gafford. Harris pitch to Embiid. The 76ers with another mix. The three player has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. Morris passes to Persingas. And it's good for two. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic. That is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. against Morris. Down low. There's Embiid. Again, Embiid missing. And it's Washington's ball. They're on a 14 to 3 run. Morris with the ball. Maverick kicks to Persingas. Maxi against Beal. Persingas. And Embiid with the block. Lift plus agility, great recipe for blocking shots. Embiid's one of the best to do it. And Harden with the basket on the assist by Maxi. Harden's got five points now in the quarter. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? Yeah, he's feeling it. Keep feeding him until he misses. Here's Morris. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on Maxi. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. For the Wizards, Free throw good for Morris. And Washington making a change here. Chimura is checked in. And Morris drops them both. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Seven point differential. Embiid with a screen on Morris. Harden the pass to Maxi. And go on the wing. Five on the clock. And Embiid gets it to go. And with an expanding skill set, Embiid is able to hit shots from all over the court. Morris with a screen on Maxi. Here's Beal. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Second person in back. Third team back. At the line for the Wizards. At the line for two. And he knocks down the first one. 
Well, a top player at the shooting guard position, Beal seems to kick his game up a notch every year in the league. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. The 76ers leading by seven. Harden outside. Harris against Hachimura. Pass to Embiid. Fires the three. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Harris has got six assists in the game. Well, that equals his three-point total from the first half. He had one before the break, and that's his first three of this half. Now here's Beal, shoots from the line, and Embiid pulls it down. Maxie against Morris. Maxie, no good. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Avia dishes to Morris. It's Beal in the corner. Six on the shot clock. Over Harris. Count it. And the 76ers lead has been cut down now to just eight points with the basket from Beal. Well, the rest of the team has looked pretty bad tonight, but he's done a fantastic job of scoring the ball and carrying the load on offense. Harden the best to fight. To the paint. Here's MB. And MB throws it down. And the one hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. I agree. He is smooth as silk, even on a power pin. Beal just trying to find the lane to the rim. Something opened up and he took advantage. And so it's hard to bring it up for Philadelphia. Third leading by eight. He feeds it to MB. And again with the rebound. He hauls in his 20th rebound. Dominating the way. Hachimura kicks to Beal, and there's the drive. Such a big-time move for Beal, a big-time player. 143 left to play here on the fourth. Pass it to Embiid. Now, here's Fiber. Good off, you're moving the ball. A fadeaway. Embiid, the bucket on the assist by Harris. Harris has got his seventh assist here tonight. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. They're trailing by eight. 127 left in the game. Seven left in the fourth quarter. And here is Beal. Outside. 
Porzingis launches it, and Embiid pulls it down. Embiid, the 76ers leading by eight. Now, Maxi. Harden up top, inside. That one is good from Joel Embiid. Embiid's got 36. Guys, I think this is a game they have to feel good about as we wind through the final moments here in what looks to be a solid mid for Philadelphia. This is a game where the defense, you know, steals specifically, generating a lot of opportunities. And it created possessions for them, scoring opportunities, and that effort, a big part of what will be a nice victory here tonight. And so with this win, they'll move to six victories on the season. They can chalk this one up, but these two teams will see plenty more of one another before the season's over. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Joel Embiid. And you have to love the effort he put forth on the glass. He played with the fire no one else could match as he chased down those rebounds. Looking at who's out there now for the Wizards. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Rui Hachimura. Kisper comes in for Avdia. And it's DeLon right in for Morris. The free throw drops for Embiid. Uh, really an underrated part of Embiid's game. Excellent as a foul shooter for a seven-footer. So you just can't hack away at it. Now here's Beal. And that time, also a missed shot. Now, here's Milton. So it's Philadelphia winning this one easily. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. They can't about the mental toughness that this group showed. They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. And now let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thanks very much, James. You have seen every type of defense from opponents over the years. What do you enjoy about that back and forth challenge? Just every single game I'm trying to figure out what they're doing and how can I uh, be aggressive and attack it. You know, I love playing a game of basketball. I love you know, being crafty and, and just trying to compete at a high level every single night. You know, it takes a lot, but I'm built for it and uh, I'm gonna just continue to keep going. Well, you won the chess match tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. And that'll do it, folks. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Owen. This is Kevin Harlan, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.